The General leads the forces south in search of more Group 1 glory. Today on Wide World of Sports, we saddle up for a spring classic as General Nadim and the Mighty Encounter take on Melbourne's best in the Caulfield Guineas. Will it be a Northern Conquest or can Southern Hope's Tower K and Amram hold off the challenge? You'll catch it all on one of the great turf battles of the spring. Plus, we'll be taking a close look at Encounter and the General and learn some trade secrets about the partnership between Clary Connors and Shane Dye. The Group 1 action is running hot with the Turak Handicap. Plus, you'll see Juggler and Falante renew their rivalry in the Yolumba Stakes. In other sports... Yes, we're out of the barriers and bound for the post on Caulfield Giddies Day. Right here on your Commonwealth Games Network. Home of the one and only Wide World of Sports. Uh, uh, be easy to pick him up. That horse there, number nine, is Bright Spot. Uh, Bright Spot is Michael Carson's mount. Uh, he's having his 57th start today, so uh, he's certainly had some experience. The Sydney filly uh, really caught my eye as they were walking around here in the mounting yard. Ken, that was a phase um, I, I can understand where the money's come from. She looks cherry ripe. Yeah, I don't disagree with that, Simon. I thought she looked pretty good too. Uh, she's trained by Mark Connors, son of Clary. Everyone knows about Clary. Clary's got two sons, uh, Mark, who trains up at Warwick Farm in Sydney, and Heath, uh, who's now in charge of Clary's operation down here at Flemington. Uh, uh, Simon Marshall's behind the barrier. Simon, uh, what's caught your eye? Well, Kenny, I like the Darren Beedman Mount Bonsai Pipeline. He's a uh, he, look. He's got 3,200 metre form on his day, but he looks very forward, and I expect him to run very well. Just looking at him, and I'll tell you one not to disregard, which is Noble Ben Barra. He won very well at Flemington last start, and uh, he's very fit, and we know he can stay. Yeah, and uh, he's uh, ridden by Sam Highland. Uh, I know you've wrapped him before. Yes, Kenny, he's a cousin of mine. He goes all right, the boy. It's in the blood. But um, <laughs> Crying Game has his uh, bandage, as we know, on the, on the front legs, and uh, that's just a precaution to hold him together, Kenny, as the last horse goes in. Yeah, it might be relevant that Darren Beedman rode Bonsai Pipeline when he finished second in the Wellington Cup back in January, and uh, Darren's got on him again today. OK, they're at the start. Let's go to our caller. With Bonsai Pipeline on the inside, Pombar Ghost is racing in great form. Four straight on Metropolitan Tracks, Australis Bazaar beat one home in the Cranbourne Cup on Wednesday. Crying game with those prominent bandages. Joe Gar is set. Bright spot completes the line of Fazi a second from the outside. And they're ready to run in the Perrier Mineral Water Stakes. Paul set for a start. They're off to a good start. And over on the inside, Bonsai Pipeline, one of the first to jump out from the grey pond bar goes, not anxious to lead, dropping back along the inside, crime gamers going forward, Australis Bazaar just in behind them, coming down the outside, bright spot being followed by Aphasia, and a bit further back there towards the tail of the field is Noble Ben Barra, racing down towards the judge, a circuit left to go, crying game takes up the running, leads a length to bright spot, a length further back is Bonsai Pipeline on the inside of Australis Bazaar, going up around that pair then is Aphasia, a length and a half further back is Pond Bar Ghost on the inside of Jogar next to last, and last of all, Noble Ben Barra along the side, inside the 2,000 metre pointer. And the leader, Crying Game, allowed to bowl along about two and a half lengths in advance of Bonsai Pipeline on the inside of Bright Spider. Close up behind them was Aphasia being followed by Australis Bazaar on the rails, a half length further back, going up three deep around them now as Pond Bar Ghost into a more forward posse, a length and a half to Joe Gar, second last, and two lengths away. Here's Noble Ben Barra at the back of the field. They run along the side with about 1,500 metres left to travel. Crying Game, the leader, about two and a half lengths to Pond Bar Ghost. The saddle could have slipped on that one. I think it has. The you settle on Pond Bar Ghost. He's going after Crying Game as they come up the hill. They've got away about three lengths in advance there. A Bonsai Pipeline followed by Bright Spider. A bit further back, Australis Bazaar followed by Aphasia. Two lengths away as Joe Gar. And last of all, Noble Ben Barra. On top of the hill they travel. And the leader Crying Game about a length and a half in advance of Pond Bar Ghost. Four lengths further back is Bonsai Pipeline being followed by Bright Spot as they race onto the railway side. Then Australis Bazaar followed by Aphasia. A length and a half to Joe Gar. And Noble Ben Barra last of all about eight lengths off the lead. Coming up towards the 800 metre mark with that distance left to go. It's still crying game making play. Leads a length Pond Bar Ghost, a length Bonsai Pipeline, followed closely by Bright Spot Aphasia. On the rails, Australis Bazaar, a length and a half Joe Gar, and still last of all is Noble Bin Barra. Little or no change coming up to the 600 metre point. Crying game still by a length to Pond Bar Ghost, a length further back to Bright Spot Aphasia putting the claim on the outside of Bonsai Pipeline who's being niggled at it. They're followed by Australis Bazaar and pull to the outside. Joe Gar and Noble Bin Barra as they come around the home turn. Crying game 
being tackled by Pond Bar Ghost in the centre. Under pressure deeper on the track as Bright Spot as they straighten up. Bonsai Pipeline behind them. Joe Gar coming down the outside. Then a phase here and well back to Noble Ben Barra. They're halfway down the running. Bright Spot on the outside has taken the lead from Crying Game. Pond Bar Ghost is third, followed by Joe Gar. Bonsai Pipeline. Bright Spot as the leader. 100 metres left to go is going strongly. A length clear of Crying Game and Bonsai Pipeline in the clear running on strongly. Bonsai Pipeline coming at Bright Spot. Bonsai Pipeline. Bonsai Pipeline wins it from Bright Spot tight for third. Noble Ben Barra or Crying Game behind them. Australis Bazaar and Pond Bar Ghost and Joe Gar. And a bad last is Aphasia. OK, uh, Darren Beedman just got Bonsai Pipeline in the clear in time and the Kiwi did the rest. He uh, got the prize with a very strong finish just to grab the roughy bright spot getting near the post. As we pick them up, that's bright spot in the pink cap, uh, just going past crying game. And now Bonsai Pipeline, Darren Beedman, Sydney's top jockey, gets into Bonsai Pipeline with his whip in his left hand and he grabs... Uh, bright spot right on the post very deep on the track here was noble ben barra who's not even in our picture and uh, he was in a photo for third with crying game not much between them we pick it up again that's crying game on the rails uh, the gray bonsai pipeline has thrown out the white flag uh, the roughy uh, bright spot has gone to the lead there with the bookies cheering at this stage still trying to shoulder his way into the open with the purple cap is bonsai pipeline with darren beadman now he's in the clear and widest of all, this horse in the red colours is Noble Ben Barra, who steams home down the outside. But the winner, well, it's the Kiwi, Bonsai Pipeline, who wins the Perrier Mineral Water Stakes from TAB number nine, uh, uh, Bright Spot. And number two, Crying Game, is actually held on for third, as we see them there, just beating the official fourth, Noble Ben Barra, number five, with number eight, Jogar, who had the nose roll on and ran a terrific race in uh, fifth place. There's the winner, Darren Beedman, bringing uh, Bonsai Pipeline back to scale as we take a break on the wide world of sports. Yes, we're out of the barriers and bound for the post on Caulfield Guineas Day, right here on your Commonwealth Games Network, home of the one and only Wide World of Sports. Wide World of Sports. Wide.